and welcome to the Dandelion Gallery. I'm Emily D. Correa, and today I have with me one of our famous artists of Waukegan, Skip Weesey. And uh, we're honored to have Skip as a part of our gallery. And Skip is going to tell me a little bit about his new recent works. So, recent works. Take it away, Skip. Okay. Uh, looking at the, these are just uh, mixed media collages. And uh, we'll just start at the top and come down. This one, you know, basically these were worked all at the same time. I didn't stop on one uh, to finish it up. I just just kept going. Never knew when it was going to be finished. Uh, and I just worked with the coloring. I would have an image in it. Some things dictated what I, what I chose. Uh, this one I had the silver down in here and it ended up with the figure. This was a feather that I printed. This, the silver was too strong so I used uh, tissue overlays to soften it and keep it in the color range. This one again was similar to that except this one had paint on it with with silver and green and, and gold, and they, they just work together very nicely. So I use pieces from, from one, and I use them on another. And they just go together, and then I just I say, okay, that's enough, or it's not enough. This one I had the lace printed. I printed lace here, and then I had the silver, and I actually scratched in uh, some... A, a line work just because it looked good and I found this a Beethoven image and I at least I needed another color in there and I thought blue would work out. I love how he, he that yeah. totally makes him the focus of that piece and the blue the way that it frames him I think it's gorgeous. It, it's, it just draws you right in. Yeah, well, thank you, because that's basically what I wanted to do. I wanted to keep it, and it's something to just focus in on him. Now, this one, which is in the same size, I found this image of the guy carrying the, the and I think these are cheese baskets, or, and, and I says, well, that looks like Gouda cheese. Yeah. So my title for this thing is, it's a good you like at a cheese. <laughs> and so that's, that's the way this whole thing developed. And it just worked to coloring. The yellows, I had, I had a red background, or a, kind of an orangey red background, and I just kept layering on top of it. I, this little piece here is what I was looking up here. That came from there. Uh, just just different things. Some of this came from the same picture. There's some silver in here again. Uh, the I like the foils. I like the extra, uh, the, the shine of the foil, but yet I don't want it to be dominant. I, I want to quiet it down a little bit. And this one, I decided I'm going to play with a tea bag. And I just, I had a wet tea bag. I tore it open and I let the, all the, the tea uh, granules falling down. I found this uh, coffee cup and tea and I just put that together. I cut it out and laid it down. Added some leaves to it. Uh, this is a, actually a tea bag to soften the wrist area because otherwise it would have been cut off completely. Everything just all of a sudden it falls in. So then I laid this mat on top and I says, oh I like that black because yeah. I happened to glue it down onto a black background for strength and that's where I ended up with the, with the black and the, uh, the whole combination there. Okay. One of my favorite things about Skip and his work is that every time, every month that he drops pieces off, 
you're amazed at the range that he works in. He can work in, you know, photorealism to monoprints to something as, you know, mixed media collage. I mean, this is, this are like the many shades of Skip. And I think that it's so clever. I and like that shade. Yes, there are many shades of Skip. I mean, you have such a, a spectrum of work and we never know what's going to show up. And I love that you're like a wild card. <laughs> this one's a, uh, a letter that actually my uh, my wife's well my my cousin my wife's cousin Ushio wrote to her about uh, an area that she was he was visiting and. Uh, He's, in, he's Japanese, my wife's Japanese, and the uh, letter is a, just a very pleasant, very uh, poetic writing. He's an 83-year-old man, and he just uh, has a flair for it. He's, a, he's a, a, a dentist by profession, and uh, he's a world traveler, uh, just, and he's loves, he speaks a couple languages, he's come over to this country. Anyways, the, the, the letter is just a very pleasant letter. I have a Japanese stamp up here, and a nice, there's texture, there's the writing, which, you know, somebody that knows the language can read. The leaves are just real leaves that were dried and just I just placed on to make it look casual. And, and yet it has an oriental feel. And that's what I was looking for. Very peaceful, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. And the letter, I burnt the edge so that it looked like it was just discarded. And it's uh, on a very rough textured background. I just, I work the color, I work the shapes, I work the size, I like the little mixture. It's overprinted there. Uh, this one, I believe, uh, because it follows, this was one that, while the paint was still wet, I actually just drew into it with a stylus just to make something Something happened there. The, the red sunset is, you know, I don't know why I do half of it. <laughs> All I do is I, I, I put it in, and it, the color has to work, otherwise it's not going to work at all. The color definitely works. I love that this is so suggestive of a landscape, yet it's still so still abstract. Still abstract, yeah. and that's it. This, this is, has a house shape. This has a tree shape. This is a moon or star sun shape. This is a tree sh uh, oh, like distant tree shape. Uh -huh. Yeah. And then uh, that type of sky too is a, a certain time of day. So each thing always says something. That's what I try, anyways. <laughs>